The movie begins by showing a guy named Pardo, a religious dude who goes to church regularly. But one day, when he walked into the church, he spotted something strange. He saw a scared guy hiding something in a flower pot from a distance. Pardo got a bit suspicious and decided to follow this guy down to the harbor. When they got there, Pardo saw the dude getting confronted by four other guys who were searching for a bag filled with money. They started questioning him, surrounded him, and even dunked him in the sea a few times. Despite taking a real beating, the guy still insisted he didn't know anything about the bag. Frustrated, the four guys eventually gave up and left him alone. Pardo decided to approach the poor guy, who turned out to be Augustine. Pardo was a good Samaritan, so he offered to help. Augustin asked Pardo to take him to his friend Antonia's place. So, they reached their destination, and Antonia opened the door, inviting them inside. When she saw how bad Augustin looked, she told her son to go to his aunt's place. It turns out her son was sick and needed an operation to get better, but she had to send him away to keep him safe. You see, she was afraid that someone might come looking for Augustin and hurt her son if they found him at her house. Now, while all this was happening, Pardo got curious and asked Augustine about his request during church prayers. Augustine just wanted those guys who beat him up to go away and leave him alone so he could work in peace. Pardo thought about it for a bit before heading home. When Pardo arrived at the house, he did this ritual thing with his gun, like Russian roulette. He filled one hole with a bullet and left the other five empty. Then he pointed the gun at his head and pulled the trigger. If he survived, it meant he still had a chance to make up for his past and do good things, so they called him the Redeemer. But if he didn't make it, well, his mission would be over. One day, Pardo went to the harbor and faced off against those four guys who had beaten up Augustine before. Augustin watched from a distance, all scared. The fight was on, and Pardo had this small knife hidden on his finger. He used it to take down his opponents pretty easily. One guy even got his head smacked by a boat engine propeller that was still running. After beating them, Pardo took their stuff and gave it to the church. As Pardo headed to Antonia's place, he noticed a bunch of armed guys hanging around by the highway. He got real careful, but they didn't pay him any mind. It seemed like they weren't looking for him. When they got to Antonia's house, Augustine begged Pardo to protect him from those gunmen. Turns out, the bag Augustine threw away a few days back had belonged to a big drug dealer boss. Pardo was okay with helping Augustine, but he had one condition. The money had to go back to its rightful owner. Augustine agreed to this deal. To stay away from the drug dealer gangs, Pardo took Augustine and Antonia in his car and they hid in a cave on a deserted beach. Then Pardo did something daring. He went to the drug dealer gang and offered to tell them where the bag was hidden. But he had a condition. They had to leave the city after they got the bag. The gang's leader, Pietra, didn't trust Pardo right away. He wanted to check if what Pardo was saying was true. So Pardo had these guys at gunpoint and told them that the bag they were after was hidden in a church. Pietra, the gang leader, took his men and rushed to the church, but even after they searched every nook and cranny, they couldn't find the bag. Pientra got real mad and called his men who were watching over Pardo. He ordered them to kill Pardo for lying, but before they could do that, Pardo sprang into action. He attacked Pientra's guys and got into a big fist fight. It was one guy against a bunch of them, and they had weapons, but somehow Pardo managed to win the fight and took them all down. Not long after, Piedra came back home, and boy, was he surprised. He found all his guys had been killed. He hurriedly went to see his boss, Steve Braddock, to tell him what happened. Turns out, Steve was the owner of that bag they were all looking for. After taking down Piedra's men, Pardo headed to the cave where Augustine and Antonia were. Turns out, they were busy counting money. At first, Pardo was shocked by what he saw. But then he realized that Augustine had taken back the bag Pietro was after so that Antonia could help her son. Pardo decided he wanted to take the bag back. Antonia, though, begged Pardo not to take the money and tried to stop him. She really wanted to keep it, but Pardo didn't listen. He still wanted to return the money to Pietro. In the middle of his journey, Pardo started having second thoughts. He began thinking about his past with his wife and kids. He pulled the car over to the side of the road to figure things out. 
In the end, he decided to go back to the cave and give the money back to Antonia and Augustin. While he was still in the cave, he did that unique thing he does, playing Russian roulette. Thankfully, the gun didn't fire, and he survived. After some time, Parva started keeping an eye on the illegal activities of the drug dealer gangs. He watched what they were up to and learned about their organization. One day, he followed a car that led him to a drug factory. He kept watching from a distance, but when the car he followed left the factory, he got into his car and followed it. Turns out, it was a trap. They found out he was spying on them. As Parna was driving towards a warehouse, his car got shot at. He got into a fight with one of the drug gang members. This guy was tough, and Pardo had a hard time dealing with him. But in the end, Pardo managed to beat him, and the guy died from Pardo's powerful kick. Later that night, Pardo went back to the cave to rest. Antonia came over and asked him to talk. When Antonia touched his back, it brought back memories of his past with his wife. You see, in the past, Pardo and his pregnant wife got kidnapped. It was a terrible time. This man named Alacran, who went by the nickname Scorpio, tortured and hurt Pardo's pregnant wife right in front of him. It was horrifying. Alacran gave Pardo a terrible choice. Either Pardo could end his wife's life or watch her suffer until she died. Pardo was helpless, and he had a gun pointed at his wife. In that terrible moment, he had to make a painful choice, and he ended up having to shoot his own wife to spare her from more suffering. Now back to the present, Pardo is driving his car, heading towards the drug dealer's headquarters. Meanwhile, in the hidden cave, Augustine tried to sneak away using his boat, which was tied up near the harbor's edge. He wanted to use the boat to escape the city. Unfortunately, as he managed to get into the boat, Alacran's men caught him. He had to dive back into the water and return to the cave. To make matters worse, it turns out Alacran was waiting for him near the cave. At the same time, Pardo is on foot, armed with a gun, getting ready to attack a drug factory. He fired at the guards standing by the gate and boldly entered the factory. A fierce gunfight erupted. As he reached a room, he encountered one of the guards and fought him hand to hand. After delivering repeated blows, Pardo managed to defeat his opponent. Next, Pardo went upstairs to where the Mafia boss's office was. The room was a mess, and there were bullets scattered on the floor. He approached the chair where the boss was sitting. Something seemed off because the boss was sitting very still and not moving. But before he could check on the boss, Alekrin suddenly struck him hard from behind, and Pardo lost consciousness. They took him away. When Pardo blacked out, he had memories from his past, where he saw Alekrin's shadow. Alekrin was his biggest enemy back then. You see, Pardo used to have a forbidden job. He was an assassin. At one point, he was hired to kill Alacran at his home. But Alacran was a tough target, and during their fight, something went terribly wrong. Alacran's son ran out of his room just as Pardo fired his gun, and the bullet ended up hitting Alacran's son. Alacran, who loved his son dearly, was filled with rage and never forgave Pardo for it. When Pardo woke up, he found himself in front of the church by the beach, just as Alacran was about to shoot. Nearby, he saw Agustin and Antonia, both looking terrified. Alacran tossed a gun to Agustin and told him to shoot himself in the head. Antonia screamed in fear, so Alacran shot her in the leg. When Alacran was momentarily distracted, Agustin tried to aim the gun at him, but Alacran caught on quickly and shot Agustin in the head. Then, Alacran ordered Antonia to take the gun Augustine had. He threatened her, making her point the gun at her own head with trembling hands. Meanwhile, as Pardo watched this chaos, he thought about his wife. With a bit of courage left, Antonia suddenly turned the gun towards Alacran, and at the same time, Pardo kicked the gun out of Alacran's hand, sending it flying far away. So, Pardo and Alacran, had a one-on-one -on -one fight right there in front of the church. They were pretty evenly matched because both of them knew how to fight well. They were throwing kicks and punches at each other. After a while, Parda managed to defeat Alacran. Alacran was still alive, but couldn't do much. However, Pardo chose not to kill him. Towards the end of the movie, Pardo advised Alacran to change his ways and stop doing bad stuff. 
He wanted Alacrin to follow his example in fighting crime. Pardo hoped that if he ever passed away, Alecrin could meet his son in heaven. So, the moral of the story is if life gives you flower pots, make sure they're not hiding money or gangsters. And remember, a good kick can solve almost anything.